We can't have people out here being misguided by all the fake false prophets out here. You know, all these mega churches, TD Jakes, Joel Osteen's, Joyce Myers, you know what I'm saying, Creflo Dollar, Michael Todd's of the world, and there's so many more, so many more mega churches. They all on TV talking about how you need to get them money. You need to send money in hundreds of thousands of dollars. Some of them even saying God told them that y'all need to bless them and get them money so they can go buy a jet. Like who? <laughs> you know, all this fake religion out here, none of it really true. God said, be holy for I am holy. God said, be holy for I am holy. My people should perish for lack of knowledge. You know why you will perish? Because you ain't sticking to that Bible. You ain't testing these bishops, these pastors. You know, all these people that's walking on the street telling you that you how you should live, all these street pastors that be pulling up on people. Yeah, they may know scriptures. The devil knows scriptures. You don't think he know? You don't think the devil know the Bible like the back of his hand? That's how he recruit people. How do you think he recruit you without knowing? Like, listen, if you're going to sign your life away on the dotted line like a music artist, if you about to sign a music artist and you about to sign on a dotted line, it's gonna tell you everything you wanna hear up top. But it's a small fine print at the bottom that you can't even read without a magnifying glass that you signing your life away. You signing all your royalties over to the label. So if you signing all your royalties and extra money over to the label with distribution deals and all that, that's going to the label. Only thing you finna get is show money from these little concerts. That's why people have to grind so hard. They gotta go to all these different clubs and get show money. Yeah, you might get 20 to 40 racks, 100 racks, but we know people lifestyle, they gonna blow it because they don't have no, you know what I'm saying, trust funds. They don't have no, you know, 401Ks. They ain't saving up no money. They just blowing it because they young minded. They know that. You don't think the label know that? You don't think the devil know that you signed your life away on that dotted line? You got a 360 deal? You don't even got the rights to your masters. People don't even know after a certain amount of years, you can go redo your songs and get paid off of the songs that you already did. I think Cameron spoke on it. You know, Whitmer, I'm just talking about if you was a musician and you was in that field, you're signing your life away. That means you being robbed, cold-blooded. <laughs> like, people don't even know these things. That's why I say people being misguided out here, they don't even know what they're getting themselves into. That's why I did so much study. I said, let me learn Jesus myself. Let me go to the main source of God and, and follow his word through the Bible in those 10 commandments. You cannot go wrong. That's why people are against it. That's why them preachers don't want to preach that because they know their church going to be thin because they know most people don't want to live all the way. They don't want to live all the way right. Most people want to live lukewarm. They do. That's why you got to watch them. Watch how they walk. Watch how they act. Watch how they talk. They pulling up on you. They doing this. They doing that. You know what I'm saying? People want to go hang with the wrong crowd. You know why they hang with the wrong crowd? Because people inside, they want to be something else that they not. They want to see do what they do, what they see on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? They want to do it for the ground. They want to do it on TikTok, Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Snapchat. Snap it up. You know what I'm saying? That's what most people cheat at on Snapchat because they know that message will delete. You know what I'm saying? After that day or after you open it, it deletes. So they don't have no sign and no backtracking. You know what I'm saying? So that's why people live their life on the internet. Like all these Christians, fake Christians and preachers and pastors, that's how they live their life. Cause they think nobody can find their dirt. But you know who know your dirt? God, Jesus. He know all your dirt, all your wrongdoing, all your flaws. You can hide it from the people, but you can't hide it from God. Like you can try. You know what I'm saying? That's why I won't, that's why I walk in faith. That's what God wants you to do, walk in faith. You know, see things before they happen. Even if it ain't there yet, walk in faith. Believe, believe in yourself. Always believe in yourself. Don't ever listen to people that's against you. You know, that always talk down, down on you, that always talk bad about you, that always hating on you. That's a red flag. These people got they jealous and envious of you, and jealous and envious is a mixture of hate. You know what I'm saying? They hating on you some type of way. Whether they, they hating on your blessings or they personally don't like you and hate you. They envy you because they see your goals and dreams are starting to come to the light. It's starting to happen. You're starting to accomplish things in your life. You know what I'm saying? You can only have... Ha uh, listen, you're only going to have a true amount of friends out your whole entire life. That's it. You ain't going to have 
a hundred different people that's gonna rock with you like that. That's impossible. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna have that. Like even people, friends, closest friends, family, loved ones, your spouse, people you married to, they hating on you because they feel like their life is stagnant. You know, I know people like that now. They feel like they coming up and the person they with want to keep them down. They want to keep them at a certain level so they can keep them at arm's length. So they feel like, okay, you're not climbing higher than me. You can't be better than me. Because if you're better than me, I'm, and my pride won't let me let you do that. Because I'm going to be hurt because I feel like I'm a failure at what I tried to accomplish. And I can't accomplish it. You know why they can't accomplish it? Because they don't got the faith you got. They don't got the drive, the ambition that you got. They don't got that hunger inside of them. You got to have that dog in you. If you want to become successful, you got to. You got to have that dog. You got to be hungry. Like a walk while in a pit mixed with a pit bull. You know how they be just tearing metal parts and just tearing stuff apart. You got to be mean. You got to be growling. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to be hungry out here. Like to, to do right. To live by the Bible too. Now, you, now notice. You got to have... All these different things about you. You got to have the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding. You got to have that, your discernment. You can't anger easily either when you're trying to become successful. God said, be slow to anger, be slow to speak. Don't be so anxious about things either. You can't be anxious. That's another thing. We got to learn how to have patience. That's how you get your blessings. That's how you get your miracles. You got, to, you got to be patient, patient, patience. It's going to happen. God, stay in faith, stay in faith, stay in faith. I know I'm miserable. You might have had a bad breakup. You thought you was about to get married to somebody, but they left you for somebody else. Guess what? That person was removed out of your life for a reason because sometimes we won't leave people. And God said, that person ain't a part of your, that person ain't a part of your destiny. They can't go to the top with you. You got to cut them off, cut them off. Cut them off. Oh, it ain't work out. Cut them off. Cut them off. Cut them off. Cut them off. It's a reason why you're cutting these people out your life. It's a reason. Why well, I think a lot of people I had to cut off and step back from. I say, nah, she holding me back. Oh, nope. Married. Married. Nope. Can't, can't, can't. You divorced. Nope. You divorced. Nope. You divorced. Nope. Next, 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 next. Nope. Nope. Because that's against the word. I almost ended up in that position like three times. <laughs> because that was before I had found out the truth. You know, because you're going to be lied to on the way to the top, man. So many people are going to have to fall off. That's why I say it's, it's going to be like a thousand to your left, a thousand to your right going to fall off, like going to the top. Everybody cannot go to the top with you, man. It's crazy. We want people to be happy for us. We want people to love us and cheer us on and say, hey, you can do it. You know what I'm saying? You got this. I'm behind you 100 percent. It just don't work like that because they're jealousy, they're envy. Their envy, you know, and it's just inside of them, and they never can change. You know what I'm saying? That's why they say, whenever somebody show you who they are, believe them. Believe them when they show you that they turned their back on you, that they cheated on you, that they was talking behind your back, they talking down on you, they hate you, they showed you that a thousand times, and you still forgave them. You know why you forgave them? Because it's in your heart to forgive, but you don't have to deal with them. Just because you love somebody, don't mean you have to be with them. Just because you love somebody, don't mean you have to be with them. Just because you love somebody, you don't have to be with them. You know what I'm saying? God say, dust your feet off, let them go. Let them go. It's okay. Move on. You'll get over it. It's going to take some time to heal. It is. Trust me. I was there. <laughs> Are you speaking? You see, listen. You listening to somebody that done been through it. I know it. I felt it. Like I said before, I feel all the temptation. I feel all the stuff that you would feel. But I learned how to fight it. And you got to you gotta go through the fire sometimes to understand how hot it is out here. You know what I'm saying? You don't understand until you actually go through it. You can see somebody else's situation from afar or looking from the outside in. And you'll say, man, they got it real bad. But when you're going through it, it's like, oh, man, I don't know if I could take this. All you have, all this anxiety, all this panic attacks, and you're trying to live right, trying to live for the Lord, and the devil pulling at you. You got Satan on uh, this corner. He on the left, right, up, down. He all around you. And you trying to walk through that and you got all these distractions in life all your desires and dreams you want to accomplish but you can't ac accomplish them because you got so many obstacles in your way you know what i'm saying you know why you got all these obstacles in your way because god is making you stronger for your next destination you have to be stronger and that's what happened to me i didn't know why i was going through all that i said man why i feel like the world is crashing down on me i mean i had an anxiety attack so bad y'all i probably could have just ended it 
It was so bad and it happened twice. And I said, man, why am I going through an anxiety attack? It's the worst experience ever. If you look it up, it just feel, and it just, it's this sensation that's happening. And it's like your mind is racing a thousand miles an hour and it ain't nothing you can do. It's nothing you can do until it stop. And I had two of them. I said, oh my goodness, why am I having an anxiety attack? It was so bad. I don't even know how to explain it. I had to go to the doctor and try to get some medicine. But I said, you know what? Nope. God help me. Lord Jesus, bring me out of this sickness. You know what I'm saying? Through sickness and health. God help me. God save me, y'all. I was ready to end it over an, an anxiety attack I couldn't control. I knew I was under attack from the enemy. I said, you know what? I'm going to be stronger than that enemy. And when I come out of this, I'm going to tell everybody about it. And I'm going to tell them how they can fix it. I'm going to tell them how they can get through it. Because they're going to get through it. Especially with the help of God and my messages, I can help people. I said, I know I got the gift. I can help people. Because I've been through that before. You can't control that. Man, I, I could have ended it. And because I couldn't control it. This is my testimony. I could not control it. I ain't really tell too many people about it because I don't want nobody else to get ideas of that because it was so bad. It was like I was falling out of an airplane with no parachute. And it was nothing. My mind was just racing. I was just going to going about my normal day, going to fix me something to eat. And I had an anxiety attack hit me. I said, this is the enemy. Ain't no way I should be feeling like this. My mind was racing, y'all. I was under so much attack. I can't even explain how scary it was. I don't even know where it came from. It's just like my mind just went racing like a thousand miles an hour in circles. And I couldn't control it. And I'm just standing there like blow. Like what in the world is going on? Where did this come from? And you can't explain it. Because it's something different that I ain't never experienced in my life. So I don't even know how to explain it. But it just was a bad to level 10. It was a level 10 anxiety attack. I ain't never had no nothing happen like this before. And I say, oh... Ooh, I gotta pray. I know, cause I know the enemy. I said, man, I'm under attack by enemy. And I don't know who was exactly coming from or why they would wanna do something like that to me, but I know it was an attack. But I'ma leave y'all with this. Always stay in prayer. Always seek God, seek the truth. Always test your preachers and your bishops. And I'ma keep saying it, you have to teach them cause they backsliders. You know, they only in it for the money. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't in it to save you. So just because they up there standing there and you agree with them and it's resonating with your life, that don't mean they're really for you. They do, It don't. You know what I'm saying? It don't mean that they're really for you. I'm telling you this. Stick to that Bible. That's what I got to do. And I thank God every day. Thank you, Jesus, for another day. You know, I hope God is watching over me. He watching over you and your family. Always be open to pray for other people. And I have started doing that. Even my auntie told me the other day. She probably didn't even know I was praying for the family like that. She said, you should always pray for your family. I said, you know what? I looked at it and just kind of smiled a little bit. I said, you know, I do. I, but I didn't know if she knew that or not. She probably thought I was being selfish. Don't ever be selfish with your blessings and your prayers. Because God probably could say somebody through you just because you prayed for him. And God said, you know what? I'm going to spare them. Because it, just like Lot. Just like Lot. If you go look in the Bible, God was going to save was a lot was living there i don't know if that was sodom and gomorrah i can't remember the whole story right now because i'm caught up in the moment but <laughs> god was gonna spare them people if you could find a handful of people i spared them just because through you that's why i say your messages is power god wants you to spread the gospel if you if you have a testimony you want to tell people you know what i'm saying just find a way to do it so it can help them you know what i'm saying like i said before i was in i had a bad anxiety attack something i can't even explain it was so bad it was just horrible. It, it, it was so bad, it just make you want to break down. And it just goes on and on for about 15, 20 minutes. It's just constantly attacking you. Attack you under attack and you can't do nothing about it. You just got to sit there and lay down and stand there until it's over. So, you know, I'm going to leave y'all. You know what I'm saying? But just stay in prayer. You know what I'm saying? Stay praying for me. I'm going to pray for y'all. I love y'all. And um, y'all already know this is where the love birds at. We're going to always keep it real with each other no matter what. You know, and we're going to make it to heaven, y'all, as long as we live by that Bible. Stick to those scriptures. Stick to those commandments. Amen. Now, a lot of us got to understand. It's in the word. God said, my people shall perish for lack of knowledge. Do you know what that means? That means if you don't truly know the word, you don't truly know if your bishop or pastors are telling you the truth you have to test them you have to go to the word yourself the only way you're going to find the truth is those 10 commandments and that bible that's it 
you know, split it down the middle. Don't trust nobody but those Ten Commandments and that Bible. That's the only way you're going to be 100% told the truth. You know, a lot of people are like, well, how I find the Holy Spirit? Through the Holy Bible. Because you can't go wrong with it. All those was apostles. You know, Jesus, apostles. You know what I'm saying? Real people was in there through the Holy Spirit. Gave us that word from God. You can't go wrong with that. That's what I'm sticking to. That's how I, that's how I got my mind right. You know what I'm saying? I only, I only listen to a handful of people because they know the truth. Because I had to test them. When they say something, I go look it up. Or it came up through a vision or other people that was talking about it. Or other people was giving their testimonies. It was testing them. Even people in my in my family. I got an apostle pastor um, uncle. The stuff he said, it aligned with what other people were saying. People were saying stuff was happening in hell. Same thing what he said. It lined it up. If, if you got multiple people saying the same thing from all different walks of life, and it's all adding up, it's all adding up, you know that's the truth. Because you're like, whoa, wait a minute. That person said the same thing. He said the same thing. It's in the Bible. It's in the Word. They sticking by the Word. That's who you got to be around. That's who you got to listen to. That's who you got to follow. If it's in the Word, if it's in the Ten Commandments, this is what you got to listen to. You can't sit here. You can't sit here and listen to all these false fake prophets that's just up in the pulpit doing a motivational speech. Talking about prosperity gospel, prosper gospel. They just telling you things that they don't experience through their week, through their month, on their vacations, what their family doing on holidays. They just, they just, you know, gossiping about people, other life problems, like they looking at housewives and, and love and hip hop. That ain't gospel. That ain't that ain't the gospel. That ain't the word. Don't stick the scripture. This is a real, a real pastor or bishop do this right here. These are the steps that they would do. They would go to scripture, break it down, tell you what it means, go back to scripture. Break it down, tell you what it means, tell you an example, go back to scripture. Go back to scripture, tell you what it means, break it down, go back to scripture. That's a real pastor. That's a real bishop. Those are real Christians. Those are real spiritual people. Those are real chosen ones. If you really want to know, that's how you know. That's how you test people. This is how you test your church too that you in. If they believe in, you know, all these false prophets out here, if they believe in divorce, remarriage, if they they believe in gay marriage, you know what I'm saying, part of the rainbow community, if they believe in remarriage, you know, if you can if you can get divorced and remarried again and to death do you apart until the person passes away first, then you can go get remarried. You know, that's the only way you can get remarried. If they believe in those things, if they don't believe in getting baptized in the name of Jesus, that's how you know. So if basically, if they believe in women preachers, you know what I'm saying, you can get divorced and remarried, and you're supposed to be baptized in the, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you know you're in the wrong church. No, no, no. This is how it's supposed to go. You know, if you put your pastors and your bishops to the test, and they say you cannot get divorced and remarried until death do you apart. Basically, the person that you div divorced have to pass away first before you can move on and get remarried. You cannot have women, pastors, bishops, you know, you know, deacons, evangelists or whatever. OK, and you have to be baptized in the name of Jesus. That's how you know that's the truth. You know, you have to test them. 